his professional Malawi. He is the challenger. He's the WBC International Light Heavyweight Champion. 170. He is the reigning, defending, undefeated WBA Light Heavyweight. I don't think it's good. I don't think his size, other than maybe to absorb some of these power, he either way outside, be try to catch him with power. And Bivol has already landed left hook and a right cross upstairs. Early on, Shalemba had his last several fights against Elite Fight. Just saw the hard left hook for Bivol, and he appears to be slept if ultimately they meet. And you can see it. He's fast. He's moving all the time in the ring. Of athletic, highly skilled, often the most skillful. Of leverage, or excuse me, in Kyrgyzstan, and I am raised Russian. Whether he's eager to fight Kovalev, the first who isn't a Russian. Ah! Tricky guy, Jim, right? Who can destroy your timing. Yep. Look at the deception in it in order to land it. That's and here the right hand over the top, he disguises it as though he's shooting it some way force biblically. And that's trouble for a boxer like Chalemba who needs to outthink his opponent. And there that hook hurt Chalemba. He's wobbled already as round two begins. And Bivol steps in to look for an early stoppage. Bivol's hard right hand upstairs. Backed into a corner by Bivol. Left hook right in between the numbers here. Is he getting in between Chalemba's craftier guy? Yeah. He's... And timing are exquisite. Between Chalemba's bound legends where there are outstanding sparring partners. He gets the work that he needs. And what we're talking about here. Chalemba's bounces. Bivol comes in and timing, rhythm. And, and, and now, now it has does. that too. Here's the left hook that Bivol hurt. Single digits in both. Now landed in single digits. But it is forbidding. You just don't get in many chances. Doesn't want to take chances, but so a tricky defense. A really well schooled, awkward times in the past. And Chalemba has no answer so far. By my count, balance is really good. And he. And he jab. And then the jab hits air and. Chalemba's first. He's being induced to be first by Bivol, so it's really Bivol dictating the action. Hard left hook to the body by Bivol. Right hand upstairs, showing a lot of variety in his attack. Back. And he's varying the speed and the power of those shots. Right hand lands upstairs. Left hook lands upstairs. Which is by Bivol. I'm calling here. Bivol punches Chalemba in the face with a combination. That's what's been going on. 10 8 rounds yet, but get to the point of 10 8. Chip selected by Bivol's hands on the last round. That's 21 consecutive pick offensive fighter, but also a competent defender. And he lands on that jab that Chalamba threw. You want to say, recall one clean shot by the Federation in tough against Alvarez. I mean, that's and, and that's a tough opponent. Simon, I think, tonight, then Bowler Kovalev. And boy. And that's doing most of the damage. Good hard left chip. It's doing a tremendous amount of damage. Four to nothing, Dimitri Bivol. I agree with Harold yesterday. He make a beautiful fight. Not just a dominant member. And for as have you seen. That's right. For a while it was there you Michael go. Spinks was fast and just an enormous puncher at light heavyweight. Bigger light heavyweights than both. Another left hook for Bivol. Tough. If he weren't tough, he wouldn't be Bivol's left hook. Historically, through the years, Max, boxing fans tend to think of Gretchen's whose major weapon was really the left. She will punch at the guy prepared for the fight, training him. But, uh, but the, the job of a court, that's what Roy was trying his best to do. What he can do in the corner is to feel confident enough to continue that success. Sometimes, when trainers aren't around to train the fighter, and using the jab primarily, in this round, working for Bivol's very dangerous. He's having some success. I wonder why Dimitri Bivol doesn't fire a rocket right hand right across the top. I have a feeling one of those is coming pretty soon, too, but... There's a right hand. You know... There's another right hand. It may haste your chance to win. Other than that, I don't see a good... Lord is distance between two points. Harold Letterman's unofficial scorecard. There's a right hand. from here on like that. Either you won't be here in the end or we'll get the victory. In other words, you got to risk it if you, if you want to try and win. Might get knocked out, but you might win if you, if you throw your hands. And emotional in the corner and sometimes. This. Cutting it a little too fine, trying to be perfect. There's a right hand over the top, five people. 
I don't know how much of a risk that actually poses because he's also seems to me to be the better defensive fighter. Well, and I don't think Chalemba has the power to knock Bivol out. Right hand seemed to hit Bivol on the else on how to stay in here that puts all these power landage. Bivol being better at all the things Chalemba an advantage in going in possibly do. But through his toughness and, and weathered at least the first storm from the sense that Chalemba Interim torrid knockouts in a Katarina Berg rush to go the distance even dominated the he knows how to box and he knows how to fight and That's what's keeping him afloat so far against Dimitri Bivol To think with Bivol Chalamba not just his body It appears that says here tonight for young Bivol You know we have to wait and see when that we didn't cave you know early since the percentage Every round for the last five fights. The rounds. Last. No longer dictating everything that's happening in there. Confidence and get his sea legs. I think Chalemba also had three rounds to look at Bivol and see what he brought to the adjustments. The glancing blow. The bounce and circle that shows the kind of work he puts in. Using his offense after making Chalemba miss defensively. From Bivol. He was and we're back to the more familiar pattern as Bivol has landed 9 out of 21 and Chalemba only 4 out of 34. And Bivol lands a quick little left hook and lands a hard right of human being. Fast combination by Bivol. Another exchange. Chalemba willing to trade, puts himself at risk. Bivol getting the better of it. And now Chalemba. Given Chalemba's weight advantage here on the end of round 10. Away with a knockout in the 12th. Although in that fight ago, we visited Sergei Kovalev's dressing room and he was smiling. Love was being put in place. So the first major is a sellout. And she said it's the Gaddy crowd. It won. Kathy Dubas. Really promoted fights. Fortunate demise due to cancer as a legis a promoter, an old school type. Cool fans of Bob. As she represents as the promoter, both Kovalev right. and Lou Duva in the corner. Right. No, he's playing. It's, by his own admission, wants to be an elite, wants to be the best fight. And Isaac Chalemba, who came in with Easy Guy tonight. Well, but Bozik did it. Their accomplishment. It, 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 but I think. Um, the goal continues his streak through 11 rounds here tonight of limiting the opponent to single digit. The Bulls put on a, a good performance. He's a very good fighter. Um, over the first three, other elite fighter in the a little bit more. And how much of that is because Roy Jones coaxed. I think Chalemba's quality of, and, and Bivol maybe is still a little green. That's, he'll tell you I'm still. The impressive, the most impressive. The determination he's shown to go out in life. He here has been an absolute monumental endurance and first power shots. Rounds to four.